Lucky Lodge continue to tick off the personal milestones. Robbie Morris is the latest. I called up with Rory to congratulate him on his personal feat and also the prospects of his runners at Club and Angle on Saturday night. The performance of Wave the Building taking out the New Year's gift heat last Saturday night was the 1800th and a welcome return to form. You've sorted him out. Yeah, look, he, um, he sort of lost his way a little bit there without his hobbles, but his hobbles back on, seen him salute the judge on Saturday night. And he was really good again. He'd done a lot of work from the wide gate. And, um, yeah, I was really happy to bring up the 1800s on him. He started out as a 17-year-old, so you've been progressing through the ranks very rapidly. Yeah, I have. Um, you know, it's been a pretty busy pretty busy time, but I love every minute of it, and I still love it today. So hopefully many more years to come. It's 1801 now after taking out the opening event here at Club Mananga with Damio. Yeah, he was good. He, um, I thought he put the writing on the wall last week. He was pretty good. Um, he's got a few little hiccups. He's a little bit of his own worst enemy sometimes, but uh, Kerry and the team have done a really good job with him. I've got to be honest, I was in Melbourne for a lot of his um, working up period uh, with Pete said so. So Josh and Alicia, uh, Kerry, they've um, they've done a really good job with him, just working him in. You know, it helps with him working in with teams of three and four all the time, and he's, um, he's moulded into our team pretty good. Those other milestones, Robbie, Kerry Andrew, her 700th career winner here, and Josh Gallagher, 2022, a personal best season for him with over 125 winners. Yeah, that's, you know, that's what it's all about. We're a big family at Lucky Lodge, and um, not only does Josh drive a lot of winners for us, he drives a lot of winners for other people, so his freelance driving career's taken off, and um, for Kerry to reach 700, I, I thought it was really fitting, because she hasn't done a lot of driving probably in the last, you know, two or three years with kids and me and Josh being the main two drivers, but she's training them perfectly and um, she's preparing these horses really good for us and uh, me and Josh have been doing a lot of it, but it's good to see Kerry get 700. She thoroughly deserved it. Which were the kids you were referring to in that bracket? Me, Josh, Stella and Archie. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, Robbie, good book of drives on Saturday night in the opening event, Little Bliss for Troy Williams. She just can't draw a good draw. She just cannot get a barrier, but... I looked at the sectionals actually this morning having having breakfast and she went like 27-1, 27-3. You can't fault the way she's going. She just needs a genuine clip. I think the 2300 will, will bring her into it a bit more. So, look, she's not, not going to start favourite, but she's a good each-way chance. And she drops from contesting a race against Expensive Ego and Stylish Memphis. Definitely, back to a condition race. So I think she's she's right in it as long as they're a genuine temper. Over the race three, Queen of Strathfield. Can't trot any better. Uh, do I think the Saturday night grade might be a step too far for her? It might be, but she's got to try and either learn to race there, but it's just the way she's got herself up in the ratings now. She's sort of half turned into a Saturday night mare, so she'll have to use the mares and the junior to get back into the Tuesday races, but we're letting her dip a toe in the water, and uh, look, she'll be competitive, but you know she's just sort of flying in her feet. Race four, Yuko? Flying, numbers are really good. Needs needs a race run to suit, needs a fence. Uh, needs a little bit of luck turn of her own, but if she gets it, she'll be right in it. Over to race five, and Ziggy Rocks looks tested despite drawing gate one, but Pete said so. Geez, you must have been proud of his inter-dominion. Mate, I, I couldn't be any happier with him. He's actually come back better. You know, it's, I don't know why. He seemed to have thrived in Melbourne. Um, his work's been super at home. He feels great. He looks enormous. Um, look, that race looks a little bit open. You know, obviously Spirits of St. Louis, classy. Max Shard's classy, but um, he'll be zooming out and he'll be putting himself in a prominent spot. And, um, yeah, he'll run a really good race. In the New Year's gift, you've got all sun drawn nicely in one and wave the bill, as we mentioned. He's drawn the outside gate. Yeah, he's locked in there at the moment, even when he, he can't draw a barrier. But, look, he did it for a hard way the other night. Um, I think his heat was probably nearly the hardest heat. So, look, we'll just have to drive him positive again early, um, see where we end up. Alison's numbers have been terrific. Got a good draw. If she can sit behind the leader, she'll be dangerous. And then over to race seven, what's your secret? Now, this mare, Robbie, has been there or thereabouts, and she is just busting to win a race. Yeah, it's, it's really hard at the moment because I know Kez is busting her guts to make sure she gets a run in them ladyship mile heats. She's, um, she'll follow pace all day. She's already shown in one of them group three mares races that went 49. I think she got better head ahead. She's classy, but... Uh, just the way I drive her, she keeps getting stuck in behind the wrong horses turning for home, and it's sort of unravelling us. So um, Keza told me to be, Keza and Mick Boots at Owens were a bit hard on me this week. They told me they've got to stop doing that and put her into the race a little bit early and sort of, we won't be doing anything silly, but we'll be making sure she's not getting stuck in any traffic. 1,801 winners. What can we see adding to the tally on Saturday night? Yeah, look, I'll be, I'll be happy with one more, but um, look, as long as they all race good and the connections I'm driving for are happy with the job we get done. We'll, we'll go home and we'll do it all again the following week.